it, bitch. Bye, bitch. Appreciate the dedication to the game, man. Awesome stuff. And no worries, Captain Lance. I just want to see like the, the game grow. I think that's like the thing I'd want to see. That, that that's like my whole my whole at the roots. What my content is based about is helping people get better at the game, make it engaging for them, and hopefully the player base grows. I, that's what I want. I'd rather see a million more people playing this game daily than uh, have a million dollar tournaments, honestly. Because having more people around will grow the scene so much, and that's. Ultimately, like it would just it would expand and more people would want to join because it's a big game and it would fix screw times and be more players, different, more more you know different play styles, different strategies being brought up, etc., etc. So yeah, that's ultimately what I would uh, want to see for from this game going forward. Okay, and it's so good. Like yeah, RTS is so hard to get into, but like Age of Empires is so good. I I'm, I would say I'm. I'm Quite a big gamer. Like I played a lot of games, but I, I haven't found anything like like AOE, like nothing like AOE actually. What's the perfect gameplay? I like to see you talk about what is perfect gameplay in your opinion. Perfect gameplay is when you make no decision making errors and the only mistake is uh, micro mistakes or very very small mistakes like idle time and stuff here and there. That's what perfect gameplay is. Minimizing decision making mistakes and or no don't decision making mistakes. Doing perfect decision and strategy. And minimizing the, the micro mistakes, basically. That's what perfect gameplay looks like. Okay, so I have to go ramp push with cumins. I do like Crater, I think it's a really fun map. It's milling deer mistaken, why? It's terrible. Why? Because you only have one boar, you need the deer way faster, and milling it makes it very, very slow source. Because you have to walk there with villagers, and then you have to take the, you have to build the mill, and then to start taking the deer only then. And that's just such a slow resource. Plus then you'd have to invest into 100, 100 uh, food onto the mill, and you have to have the walking time of the villagers. It just adds up to way too much cost for very little benefit, so luring is way better. Don't forget Loom, thank you. He's not luring, that's a big mistake. I see that often on Crater, where people don't lure, don't lure. It's a big mistake, in my opinion. Because unless you're planning to lame, there's very little reason to scout at this point. You just scout me later. You only have one board, you cannot get a good start on without luring. What do I have to do to see Master Panzer's doubts? Oh, that's why he's got him in. Donates. Okay, I'll lay my... Uh... Some deers. I'm okay with this, honestly. That makes sense, though. I was wondering why he was scouting me. It makes sense that he's doing something a bit weird. Okay, I might open scouts here. But actually scouts is like the... 
unpredictable move. I'll go archers just to stay unpredictable. Taking a lot of punishment there. I don't like that. Just want to make sure he doesn't do anything sneaky with that bill. Should be scouting him ideally, but I don't really have. I don't really have that kind of luxury. He turns back early. Get to know. Kind of bullshit. Happens though. You got a bit lucky with that one. <laughs> That's unfortunate for him. I guess I got the luck back. No way, you, you cannot strive at you. You can't. What? What? You can try it? What? That doesn't make sense. Why can you strive a tree? Why, why is that considered a strive a tree? Okay, he's trying to dress FC here. So we're gonna try to set up a full feudal here. And if he goes for fast castle, we'll go for full feudal. Try to punish him that way. It's going to be very difficult, of course.
He's not gonna go FC anymore. Even though it's a bit late. And I'm gonna end now <clears throat> end their push or aggression with a feudal ram. That's my TC, bro. Okay, next up, Fiddle Ram. He's panicking here. I got one there. There's a low HP build here. No, he doesn't. I guess he took it away. I don't know. Now we have a full feudal play. And we have a ram as well. So he's just gonna get destroyed. Survivalist, they said a raid, man. Welcome to your viewers, hope you had a good stream. We're feudal rushing doubts with rams. And we're about to get about to kill his DC now.
getting wrecked, bro. <laughs> This strategy is insane, man. I swear, it's actually, it actually works. If you point it in unexpectedly, it actually works. Like that, that's a lot of damage. And losing your TC at fuel is not something that's recoverable. Yeah. Did you well, I think that was a pretty worth ten dollars, Mr. Mr. Norris, Mr. Jimmy Norris. Thanks for the uh, challenge, and we made it work in the end. Very, very nice. Good stuff. Yeah, good game here.